Hey, uh, welcome. Uh, you're watching 1000 Tips of Norma Sculpt, and uh, yeah, um, I'm William Jamming, and uh, this is Learn Digital Arts with William Jamming. Uh, so, first, um, this will be our first video of this uh, whole 1000 uh, video series um, because you know, I want to talk to you guys. Uh, I'm a beginner myself, and uh, I uh, dabble um, a little bit about uh, the blender sculpting. And uh, recently, I start you know using uh, uh, iPad a lot because I um I uh, travel a lot recently, and um um so I, I believe that uh, it's, it's a really really convenient workflow um and especially uh for beginner like me um because you know um. Why you are you just learn to sculpt? You you don't like start with the very complex sculpting with a lot of vertex, and then you have to, you know, uh, UE unwrapping or sort of like a detail thing. Um. So uh, the iPads can already handle a lot of uh, the simple parts, and um, uh, because the computational limitation of iPad, uh, you can or you can't just like uh, got a lot of vertices. Uh, like a like a, in computers blender uh but um it kind of uh, like remind me constantly to make things simple and to see things as their basic shapes uh like a cylinder like comb like a cube something like that so uh i believe it's, it's a good practice and it's a really portable solution um for beginner like me and uh, what is more important is that uh while you sculpt you can just use clay to sculpt the basic shape and there is a workflow on ipad where you can uh sculpt in uh, say normal uh sculpt and export that to uh say blender and you can paint on it and uh this is amazing and without the involvement of a computer you can like um you're taking a train taking a subway you can do that in your spare time and uh, yes, yeah, really, really convenient. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Really, really ex exciting uh, project. So uh, you just need to search Norma Scop. Sorry, Norma. Norma Scop. Okay, the first one. And uh, this is Norma Scop. You click here. I uh, already uh, in uh, installed that. Uh, by the way, it's a, it's a paid uh, app, but uh, totally worth it because I, I, I use that all the time. Uh, now uh, n uh, nearly n every day recently and uh, it's, it's a great fun it's great fun and uh, uh, it's a productivity tool so um, <laughs> so basically you can improve your productivity and actually you know if you are uh, you know uh, doing that for a job it can make you money so uh, it's worth the investment so uh, I already installed that there's 19 bugs I believe, I believe. so uh, yeah uh, you can just open it so if you open it all, you you already uh, like uh, dabble around, uh, play around a little bit about uh, it, you may get uh, like a pretty messed up uh, <laughs> in an environment like this. Don't worry, don't worry. So you can completely, you know, as long as not save, you can just completely, you know, uh, create a new project. So click here, right? I know it's a lot of button. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm like a, um. Uh, scared at first when I uh, first uh, opened it because you don't have a, like a real uh, big real uh, real estate uh, screen real estate here so uh, but don't worry don't worry most of the icon is fairly easy and uh, uh, yeah so let's let, let's click here so you, you can you can click this one okay and this is like a folder thing and uh, then you can create a new and create a new thing yes and uh, everything just is set to normal, and you, you got a bonus of uh, automatically generated a, a, a sphere for you. Uh, so that, that, that's a bonus. And uh, if you don't want a sphere, you can do something like this. So, uh, this one, this icon, okay, can uh, get you the uh, like the hierarchy of, uh, of the uh, just show everything uh, in the scene. But right now, it's just a sphere. Uh, you can just hide it, and you can make it show. And uh, you can just uh, completely, um, yeah, not set it to the uh, to the active editing uh, settings. And of course, if you don't want it, you can just select this and click this delete. So it will be empty, nothing. Okay, and it just just got a uh, a gizmo here. So gizmo basically you can you can you can drag it upside down, rotate it, or all that. Uh, it's a, it's a very common. 
And of course, you can um, uh, change the background color. As you guys can see, I will adjust it to this color. Uh, of course, it's just for demonstration purpose. You, you don't want like a really uh, uh, reddish color, but rather I, I prefer the clay to be sort of a reddish color and the background to be like a, a completely like a neutral color, like a gray, uh, gray scale sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is to select here, right, the background, okay, so it's like an image, a wise image, because you can like import image. Uh, right now it's like a gradient, and you can choose the color, in fact, okay, and uh, you can you can select the color, you can select a specific color for your background, that really depends on your taste, but I prefer like a greenish, darkish color, so it can give you like a more, um, you know, uh, more, uh, you know, contrast okay and of course uh, if you love gradient you can use a gradient uh, so um black to a specific color so you can black to white or black to black it doesn't really matter uh that really depends on your taste okay and so you can use the, like a monotone blackish or whitish color that really depends on you but here's another really important thing once you adjust or fine tuning the uh the background color is the grid okay so if you look at here we got a, like a little text uh, uh says grid so if you click it it will switch on the grid but but as you can see uh yeah i have received a lot of comments saying that uh, where is my grid um don't worry you need to like rotate it because you are look at, at exactly front view uh, as you can see and then, of course you can snap this okay i, I will show you later but it's, it thinks it's exactly from, you can't see this grid, so you have to, uh, using one finger to just uh, click and drag, so you can um, have a look around, okay? So it's uh, really, really nice to have this uh, intuitive interface. And of course, uh, in order to, you know, uh, actually see things, I'm going to add things. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to add, and I'm going to uh, add a box. Okay, so as you can see, we got a box here. You can pinch it to just make it smaller and one finger, you can rotate this uh, to your liking. Okay, pretty, pretty simple one. And of course, um, um, if you want to like a snap that, you just need to click it to the front. And here is another tip. If you want to snap to the exact opposite, okay, you can click again. You just go to the back, click, go front, okay. And you can click top, click bottom. Okay, it's really, really simple. Okay, click it. So if you like, uh, got some like a uh, uh, different angle, you just uh, tap it. You just go front, tap it again. We just go to the opposite direction, and it's really, really helpful um, to, uh, for you to to navigate. Okay, and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, one one last thing. One last thing is you will not be uh, like a really depth. Uh, tutorial uh, at the first video because you know it's uh, just the first tip it is like a navigation to the workspace uh, I don't want to go too deep and uh, I don't want to like, uh, start sculpting but I just want you, you, get, you get the guys to like a really quick and brief tour of, of this working environment okay so um, uh, uh, another one is that uh, you, you can go to this uh, uh, sunlight uh, icon here and uh, it's called shading uh, say say you normally you would have a something like this i believe uh but i pl prefer um some sort of oh yeah yeah previously like a pbr uh late and uh i prefer use the matte clap uh because you can like get a lot of and of course you can you can import the uh sort of material if you will um and uh, i prefer um you know um some sort of a clay um um, so it can give it like a realistic uh, feeling uh, that really depends on you and your preference okay so you can get something like this and uh, what's even better is that uh, you can you know let's just select this and delete this and add a um, maybe add a uh, sphere okay so you can get like a lot of vertices here okay and of course you can you can change that to wire okay so you can you can actually see the wire and vertices here. Uh, doesn't really matter, doesn't really matter, but uh, I think this can give you like a uh, 
uh, better uh, demonstration of the metal cap. So if you click here, you can change that to different uh, settings. So uh, you like a really darkish uh, clay red. Um, you can do something like, that, like this or gloss and or uh, like a skin color if you were like uh, aiming for uh, the skin color or some like a monotone uh, color it doesn't really matter that is just uh, your personal preference and preference style so really neutral uh, you can do something like this but uh, I personally prefer this uh, like a, a realistic uh, sort of a shape and uh, glossy or not glossy doesn't really matter okay so once you are satisfied with this, you can just uh, continue your sculpting. If you're not satisfied, you can just delete it. And uh, <laughs> one more tip uh, before I actually finish this video is that always, always save, okay? And uh, you can uh, switch on auto save, okay? And uh, you can like a, a timer pop up like five minutes to automatically uh, uh, save something like that. Uh, you, you are for, you know, uh, uh, you know, for your safety and your sanity, because you know you may uh, walk for say uh, thirty minutes uh, and uh, just the uh, app crash. The app do you crash? Uh, even Blender or sort of a computer software or some professional commercial software, they do crash. Okay, uh, so it's it's not perfect, and I believe it's uh, like a this is based on a open source um, license. You can you can get uh, like a pretty open source and the Medicap. Uh, uh, SGRIs and all of that, uh, uh, so it's uh, like a based on a lot of open source projects. So, uh, so it's not perfect. It's not perfect. Um, uh, so it it will crash, <laughs> uh, but most of the time it works fine. Uh, but uh, I personally um, switch on to auto save, but also save that all the time. Okay, so you just to save as a specific project for so for example test project something like that. And just to save it. So next time you can you can you, you can you can open that without you you know uh, actually lose uh, lose all the uh, progress. Okay, yeah, uh, I believe that's a lot. That's a lot about the navigation and the uh, a quick tour of the workspace. Of course, I will not going to cover every tiny little part of the detail. Uh, I just uh, you know. Uh, uh, introduce the, the the part that I find most useful at least for now and uh, uh, I want you know since I'm a beginner as well so I want to tackle this problem and uh, record the video from a beginner's perspective and um, uh, also uh, I want to like uh, hibernate things uh, a little bit so sculpting and drawing and uh, then you know put that environment and maybe uh, in gaming something like that uh, yeah, so if you look my channel, it's a little bit hybrid, uh, like a hybrid, uh, mixed up sort of thing. We get uh, the modeling, we get the, uh, the drawing, uh, animation, uh, yeah, all, all that uh, uh, interesting stuff. So yeah, if you think my video is helpful, if you like continue to see this series to like update to 1000, please give me a thumb up so I, uh, I know that and, and then other people can see it. And it really helped me a lot. And um, uh, yeah, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Okay? So thanks. Bye.